Um, I had a lot of challenges at coming since I came half, like not halfway through the first quarter. Yeah, halfway through the first quarter. Um, I, I really didn't care last, well, it's not that I didn't care, it's just like, I just found it in myself that I already fell into the hole, my life hole, and I just couldn't really get out of it. And then towards like the end of the year where I was failing like all my classes, I, they, they had this program, I think it was called Club 10. And it was like every day after school to like five o'clock, you have to stay after and work. And it was like this big challenge for me because it wasn't just one class, it was most of my classes. So having to do all the work every day and having to stay after with teachers and redo essays and try to get myself out of staying back and trying to get myself out of summer school even though I went, but it was just for one class. So I felt like after that year, knowing that I gave myself, I gave like the last quarter, I gave it my all and passing most of my classes and just like flunking one was like, the biggest challenge I overcame in life, actually, just like knowing that I was gonna get kept back and like working myself up. Going into high school, I know one of my struggles, doing all the talking that I was doing, you know, I struggled with admitting when I needed help. And I think, you know, as I went on, you know, with my freshman year and my sophomore year, now my junior year, you know, learning how to say, you know, listen, I need help with this, you know, can you help me with this specifically, you know, and, you know, that really helped me as a student. They also told me that, uh, that the biggest thing that they, they learned was that uh, procrastination, definitely get rid of it, but also cherish every one of your experiences, cherish whoever you meet, and uh, try to remember whoever you are, uh, whoever you meet, and don't ever bel belittle anybody because you never know somebody you're walking up the stairs with or somebody you're in the elevator with could be your next potential boss or it could be uh, it could be any person that you might uh, you might be related to it could be anybody so they said don't ever belittle anybody and try to try to make uh, try to socialize with everybody and whenever you get the chance to meet and uh, I think I'm gonna remember that actually I will remember that for the rest of my life because it just changed my entire um, entire like mindset because now I feel like everybody, every potential person that I meet is somebody important. So I just, try to, I just try to keep an open mind with everybody. And if somebody says anything to me, I try to just throw it away. Every new idea is a risk. And I have, like, and I'm trying to like, ask a question that's taking a risk. Because sometimes people will be like, wow, you don't get this already. And they'd like try to put you down and then it's like, Wait, but I'm, this is, I'm asking, I don't, I know you get it, but I don't, so allow me to get to your level before you start judging me. So with this um, dance group, I had a show in April, April 30th of this year. It was really nerve wracking, cause like, it was like a thousand people. And so, but like, I wasn't the only one, there's like 20 people in my group, and I danced nine out of 10, I mean, sorry, nine out of 20 dances. Uh, like nerve, like there was a lot of emotions, like happiness, sadness, nerves. Like I was so scared because I had to wear like some heel and like the floor was really slippery. So I was like scared that like if I'm, like I might slide and like twist my ankle or something, but it was really good. And it, and it was also the first dance, so I was like, oh my God, I hope nothing happens. So yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I don't ever think that I would have ever done that in Colombia. Here, it's like, whoa, I can't believe I did that. Like, a thousand people. Like, while I was on stage, I wasn't nervous. Like, off stage, like, before starting, I was so nervous, like, I was shaking. I was like, oh my god, I hope I do great. Smile the whole time. And I did. And it was just like, I was so happy. And I don't think I would have done that in Colombia. I was really proud of that.